Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY Creation 7 video. Okay everyone, I just wanted to stop in really quick to share with you guys what I have recently completed. It's going to be some crochet items along with some jewelry. Before I get started, you know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. So, how is everyone doing today or this evening or whatever time you are watching this? I hope you are having an awesome, awesome day. It's pretty cold here, guys, in Chicago. So, I really need to um, start creating some more hats and scarves. But I'll come back and share that with you guys at a later day. So, let's get started with the jewelry that I recently made. So I finished up these earrings right here. This is the first thing that I want to share. So these are just some wire, some silver wire with some pink and orange beads. Okay, I really, really like these and I'll tell you why. As the weather gets even um, more colder, um, we can get a little gloomy and you know the nights are long and the days are short so what I'm trying to do this time around for the winter is brighten up my selections because usually I just make all the dark colors like the burgundies the black the gray really make me feel a little bit gloomy so I'm going to change it up this season and I'm going to be creating more things that you know um, put me in a better mood so this is the first thing that I made really cute and simple but pretty I want to take it off this um, this right here just for a second because I want you to really see it I think the white is drowning it out but there it is like this okay so those are the earrings that I made and I made a I made a bracelet, not the exact color, but it did come out of the same bead box that I got these in. And I made this right here. Again, I just used some silver wires and I just added these beads. Now for this one here, all you need to do is just clamp it on just like that. So cute. I might add some wire. Um, I might add a chain right here, but I like how simple it is to get on to your wrist. How cute is that? You know, how cute is that, guys? Yep. So I really like how that looks. And like I said, it's just easier to get on. If you have a smaller wrist, all you would need to do is just close it up. I got a pretty thick wrist. So, and it fits me perfect, but if you got a smaller, just clamp it up together. And again, I might add a chain to this. I don't know. Let me, get, let me know in a comment if I should add a chain to this, or is it just better just to be able to slip it on like this. So those are the first two jewelry that I made. Now from, I think it was, was it last Friday or... It might have been Friday before last. I shared with you guys these earrings right here that I had created. Okay. Really nice. Really very, very light. So I was sharing with you guys that I was going to come back and make some smaller, a smaller portion of this. But I changed my mind. I decided to make a bracelet to go with this. I thought one pair of these earrings is enough. They're very light. So I thought a nice bracelet would go even better. How cute is that? That's something you can definitely uh, dress up or dress down. And again, this is one size fit all. I just added a silver wire, a piece of silver wire onto this one here. Okay. And so there you have it. So cute, guys. 
great to go on with my blue jean and this will go on with white or whatever color because it has the pink the blue and then the light blue so there is that I think it's pretty awesome let me know what you think about it now I was going to the craft store to <coughs> excuse me guys I was going to the craft store to look for some um, navy blue or dark blue wire and the only craft store that I was able to get around to was Hobby Lobby's so I still gotta go to Joanne I still gotta get to Michael the days go so fast right but if you are following me on Instagram or on Facebook, Facebook, you would have already seen these right here. My Instagram is uh, the same as my YouTube channel, so please uh, go over there. And also Facebook is DOY Crochet, but I'll leave that all down below. So here's the new color that I have, which is, this is a tour course, and these are the Melody. So remember, um, the sale is still going on. Um, any earrings that you are purchasing online, you are still receiving the wire ring as a gift. And I'll be doing that just for the rest of the month. And then that's it. I also need to come back and show you guys what I have left because it's been selling really well. And I want to sh share with you guys the items that I have available. But this is the new kid on the block and tour course this is the uh melody so if you go onto the website look for the one that says melody and then in the comment section or the description just if you want it in tour course just let me know and you will also have a matching ring to go along with it just like this gray one that i have on okay so i already um made some notes and they already shipped out, so I wanted to come back and show the melody. If you want to see the notes, go on to either my website or my Instagram page so you can see either one of those. But I really love that color. And this is a little bit more thinner wire, so it is definitely great for those of you who really don't like the really uh, heavy earrings. Like I shared with you guys, uh, I don't make anything that's heavy. They're very light very light to the weight anybody got time to be tearing nobody earlobes down so those are the new jewelry that i have completed super excited about it i'm liking them because you can dress them up or if you want to dress them casually you can definitely do that as well so i'm really really loving it when your creativity is flowing you better flow with it okay so cute these can be sold together or it can be sold separately leave it in the comments so that's all the jewelry that I made okay on to my crochet let me take these earrings off I went to I believe I got this yarn from either Walmart's I believe I got this from Walmart's or even Hobby Lobby's. I'm not for sure which store that I picked this one up at. But this was the thick blue jean type of yarn right here. It's in the chunky. Now I only had one skein of the yarn. So what I decided to do was add the red heart yarn. And to give it that same thick consistency, I just used two strands of yarn to achieve this look right here how cute is this and i want it to be thick because i really want to get ready for the winter and chicago along with other places can get really really cold so this is a nice thick hat to keep your head warm and so i only had that one skein or i would have made a nice neck warmer to go with it but i didn't have it available so this is in the tan, and again, I don't have the wrapper uh, wrapping for this one here. I threw away the label, but it's in some type of blue family. So yeah, and it's done using all double crochets, and it has enough give if you got, you know, a lot of hair, or if you don't have a lot of hair, it still will fit great because you see how nice it looks on her, and she has a pretty small face. 
So I wanted to make the earrings in the same um, colors, but like I said, I only had a small piece of the blue jean that was left. So I just made some simple circle earrings. I got to sew in my loose pieces. So here are the earrings to match. I think, I think I'm going to add maybe like one of those curry shells or carry shells onto this one here. I might add it, but let me know if I need to add it. So there it is on. What I wanted to was have the blue in here and then had this going out. But because I ran out of this color right here, I just made it in this color right here. So I got to sew in that. Let me know what you think about that. I try to either make things with head and earrings or head and scarves. I like everything in pairs. I think it just works up better that way. Or it even looks better. So, this one is not available on my website. For this set here, you will have to, you know, leave a comment or email me. And I'll send you over a secured PayPal invoice. So that is how this one looks. Really cute. That is so cute. Especially when I sew in all my loose pieces. So I was in Walmart, guys. And I always go through their clearance aisle. And you guys, if you have not seen my Walmart's huge yarn haul, I'm going to leave it in the description box below so you can check it out. And see all the fantastic yarn I got for one dollar. I don't think I went over a dollar and fifty cents, and I got like, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't even count the number of yarns that I even got in from them. But I was in Walmart on yesterday, maybe it was Monday, because today is Wednesday, and I found this pretty color right here. And this was the only one that I saw. Again, I'm so forever not keeping the labels to these things but it was for one dollar so that's my price range and look at those beautiful colors some really really beautiful colors right there and i'll share with you guys what i made i just made a hat so here is a simple beanie okay a really simple beanies but i love the colors i really really love the colors and it has some give, you know, she don't have any hair. So it definitely has some give if you get, if you want to just tuck your hair under there. So here it is. And I, like I said, that color is nice. And like I said, I'm really trying to, you know, change up things from always wearing all dark colors uh, for the winter times. We do need things that's going to uplift our spirit. So having on something bright would do that for you. So this is all the yarn that I have left. I don't know if I'm just going to take this portion and pull a color from here to make a nice little neck warmer or maybe just make a pair of earrings to go with this hat. I don't know. So stay tuned. I'm going to see if what I can do with it. And if I can make a, little, a fitted neck warmer, that is what I'll do or let's make some earrings. You can't go wrong with earrings. So, yeah. So, those are, that's all I got. Those are the only items that I have completed and got done with. I do have some more jewelry that I'm um, currently working on. I'll be back to share that with you guys. Um, so, stay tuned to see that and all the colors that I have available because I know a lot of people have uh, been purchasing these because they really taking advantage of the earrings. Even even I have I have these available along with the silver earrings. You know, these are mine, but I do have more. These are called the strings along with the rings. So please take advantage of that before that sales ends, which you know when once the money is over, we're done with that. Another thing that I'm working on, I am working on a tutorial for you guys. And the tutorial that I'm working on, I hope this be enough yarn that I can do both. Um, I have some more of this yarn. And as you can see, this is just some scrap yarn that I have available. But what I'm working on is some fingerless gloves. These are going to be quick and easy. 
gloves that like if you in an office space and you still need to type but your hands get cold because um you know our hands can get cold and sometimes in the office or wherever you at they gotta have that uh air on at all times i guess it's for the computers or whatever so i am going to be making some quick and easy fingerless gloves i'm working on it right now um i'm trying to make this tutorial as quick and as easy as possible i probably have that one out for you guys asap as soon as i possibly can i'm going to come back and upload the video for the uh fingerless glove and i'll do a nice lid uh edging around it to make it pop even more so that is what i have on whip along with um along with another scarf and some jewelry which i'll come back and share that with you guys at a later time i think that's all that i wanted to that is so cute it's just sitting up here very nicely she's sitting here very nicely that is all that i wanted to stop in to share with you guys today um thank you to everyone who clicks onto my videos and uh watch my videos i appreciate you guys so so very much and if you are new to this channel please make sure that you click on the subscribe button somewhere at the bottom or the top make sure you're clicking on your bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos Make sure you thumbs up the video and leave a comment and what you guys are seeing today. Let me know what you think of them. So I'm constantly being busy. Like I said, my creative juice is constantly flowing. And as long as it's flowing, I'm going to keep on creating and coming back and sharing it with you guys. And if there's anything that you want me to uh, make, not something really large, let me know what it is that you like me to do this tutorial on. And I'll be happy to share that. But keep in mind that the tutorial for the fingerless gloves will be coming to you guys ASAP. So be looking out for that. All right, guys. That is all that I wanted to stop in to share with you guys today. Thank you so very much for taking the time out to click on this video. And until next video, always remember, y'all, yeah, so I'm 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking you guys in the next video really, really soon. All right. Bye for now.